Hello, my dear friends. Welcome back to Headlines' very first episode in 2024. I'm Zoe. I'm now getting back on track. I was a humanities student in college. Sometimes I wonder what's the point of learning humanities disciplines. It's not as tangible as lines of codes that could calculate or implement a function, or as practical as a new material that would change the world entirely. 在这个技术飞速发展、效率至上的世界里，我们经常会怀疑人文学科的意义。And today we're going to read an opinion article from a professor of philosophy talking about the values of humanities. I teach the humanities, and I still don't know what their value is. The title sounds like an irony, but it successfully evoked my curiosity for the article. Now, without further ado, let's jump into it. We humanists keep on trying to teach people what the value of humanity is, and people keep failing to learn our lessons. This suggests to me that humanists do not know the value of the things they are defending. 我们假设一个数学老师全情投入教学，有很多合适的学生，但是呢，学生们考试总是考不好。那我们可能会说，这个老师不太懂数学。And the response might be the same when it comes to teachers who teach humanities. Humanity has many usages, all of them related to being human. Say, lose humanity, 失去人性 crimes against humanity, 反人类的罪 show humanity, 表现出仁慈 teach humanities, 教授人文学科 You may not agree with what the professor said, but just be patient and keep reading. I once asked the best teacher I ever had why she no longer taught her favorite novel, and she said that she stopped teaching a book when she found she was no longer curious about it. The humanistic spirit is fundamentally an inquisitive one. In contrast, defenses of the humanities are not and cannot be. Conducted in an inquisitive spirit, because a defensive spirit is inimical to inquisitive one. If someone is inquisitive, he likes to find out secret things. 那么这里呢 ，inquisitive 有两个意思，你可以说这个人很好奇，也可以理解为他好打听。It's up to the context.、Uh, for example, eight engaging activities for the inquisitive mind, or she was very chatty and inquisitive about everything. 文科的精神是 be inquisitive. Be conducted, 被引导被进行，捍卫人文学科没有也不能被以 inquisitive spirit 的方式来进行，因为捍卫 defensive spirit is inimical to the inquisitive one. A is inimical to B is the key of the sentence, which we cannot put aside and guess its meaning. A is inimical to B is A is harmful to B. 很多人文学者或人文学生总是要想着去捍卫自己的专业，但实际上，捍卫的精神对于探求的精神是有害的。Wow, that's an insight, isn't it? Defensiveness is an understandable response when budget are being cut and the chopping block are brought out, and you need to explain why you shouldn't be on it. It might be that humanists need to spend more of our time enjoying political battles, like all political battles require their participants to pretend to know things that they don't actually know. Chop is cut. Chopping block is 案板 something on the chopping block, 就是你在案板上是任人宰割的一个状态，可以引申为处在一个被淘汰的境地。For example, marking jobs are on the chopping block amid industry slowdown. 当面临被砍经费或者是专业被淘汰的时候，捍卫人文学科是能够被理解的。你因为你必须说明你存在的意义和立场。Nonetheless, we should be alert to the danger of becoming accustomed to putting our worst foot forward. An atmosphere of urgency and calls for immediate action are hostile to fields of study like literature and philosophy that require a contemplative mood. And the pretense of knowing what one doesn't actually know is hostile to forms of inquiry that demand open mind. Be accustomed to something is to get used to something. 习惯于什么 Put the best or worst foot forward. 把最好或最坏的那个脚先伸出去，是实际上就是展示自己最好或最坏的一面。I try to put my best foot forward whenever I meet someone for the first time. 我们要警惕习惯于以 defense 的状态出现，这是人文学科最坏的一面。Contemplative comes from contemplate， 沉思。Pretense is pretending， 假象借口。Mandatory high school course is just a pretense of education. 这种紧急行动的事情对于文学、哲学这样需要沉思的学科并不友好。不懂装懂也不利于探寻思维模式的发展。A defensive mindset also encourages politicization. If the study of literature or philosophy helps to fight sexism and and racism, or to promote democracy and free speech. 
and everyone agrees that sexism and racism are bad, and democracy and free speech are good, then you have your answer as to why we shouldn't cut funding for the study of literature or philosophy. But why are sexism and racism so bad? Why is democracy so good? That is the question. The function of humanity is to raise. 这段写的很精彩。人文学不是去支持说性别歧视、种族歧视是不好的，它是要提出为什么性别歧视是不好的这样的问题。The task of humanists is to invite, to welcome, to entice, to excite, to engage. And when we let ourselves to be ourselves, when we allow the humanistic spirit that animates us to flow out, not only into our classrooms but also in our public self-presentation, we found we don't need to defend or prove anything. We are irresistible. The task of humanist is elaborated comprehensively. Entice is to persuade or invite. For example, a product as AI-driven photo feature to entice shoppers. Animation is 动画 that animate someone is to make someone lively. Her presence animated the party. 她的出现让人群活跃了起来。这段词汇很简单，就不翻译了。大家可以用英文体会一下这段文字所表达的意思。And I like to wrap up the video with a clip from Professor Dai Jinghua on the value of humanities. And I hope you like this video. And I'll see you next time. 是觉得我们真的是面临着一个新技术革命的全面冲击，人类的命题正在被改变。那么在这个时候，正是人应该反身，询问何为人呢？呃，我们如何在自己所创造的文明面前，仍然成为自己和保有自己？呃，所以我觉得呢，在这个意义上说，人文学或者说这个呃中文系或者文学学科，我觉得真的是。非常非常的重要和突。